Everybody doing good tonight? Had one of them days. Really, really just want to chill. And look, I never healed. Okay. Guess we just need to go talk to everybody, so why don't we go this way? Well, that way is actually... That's weird. It's actually south. Okay, now that I get it orientated right... What is this? This is Nora Dendewater's tent. It seems she brought a lot of unnecessary items along with her. She brought a book? I like books. Alchemist fire. I, I don't feel like I should be taking all these things. Um, like it's stealing. It'd be stealing, right, if I took it? I mean, if I went... Yeah, probably. I'll just save that for later. Let's see. Crusader. Crusader. Lan, how you doing? How you doing, Lan? Alright. A lot of good old weapons there. Okay, we got some back here. I'll go check that. Well, that's just a box, right? Artificial flower. Okay. What are we supposed to be checking? Eagle Watch Crusader. Happy to see you, Commander. These are the Eagle Watch. I've done one. Found the Eagle Watch. I got the page you were looking for from the Great Garrison. The storyteller carefully takes the page from your hands. His fingers touch the ancient letters gently, examining them lightly, following their lines. I see. I see myself, young, energetic, able to see. Oh, gods, have I found the key to my past? Finally, I will find out what my own mind has been hiding from me. Hmm. The elf's expression becomes withdrawn. The wrinkles on his face soften. Thank you, Hales. And please, follow me to my story. Let us embark on this journey together. The story of tale inhales sharply a few times and begins his story. They are leaving. People of Kyan and faced the people of Kyan and faced the coming earthfall and admitted that they were incapable of handling this disaster. Proud rulers, artful crafters, brave warriors, wise mages, and skilled healers, all of them hurried to the gate of Soyverian, looking around fearfully. A clean, safe world is waiting for them there. My people decided not to fight for Galarian. I am ashamed, and I am sorry for them. Their hearts wavered in the face of catastrophe. But my will is strong. I am staying. My kinfolk are looking at me angrily. How dare I diminish their decision with my recklessness? My, chokes, my choice makes them cowards, traitors of their own home, one of them, my former mentor, looks at me bitterly. He hands me a neat notebook with a tree bark cover. In case you change your mind, with a heavy sigh, he returns to the line of those departing. 
Forgive me, brothers and sisters. I watch the gate of the Severian stone close, se separating me from them. It's time for me to go too. I open my master's notebook. These are his notes about traveling between worlds. In case you change your mind, he hopes the burden I shouldered voluntarily will be too much. I will lose heart and find my way to Silverian. That will never happen. My mouth set stubbornly. I tear my master's notebook to pieces. I use my forced pride as a shield against my fear of what is to come. Well, why did the elves decide to flee and not fight? The storyteller's lips purse with disdain. They are afraid to lose what they have. They were rulers, long-lived and powerful. They valued the lives and sunshine too much to enter the fight with the aftermath of the Earthfall. Your mentor is a mage, then you must be too, yes? Yes, I am an archmage, and this title is well deserved. I have acquired a delicate mastery and succeeded in many areas of magic, but curiosity was has always pushed me towards new knowledge since the first day of my apprenticeship. Well, I figured he was kind of a mage. I mean, he sings, he sees things, right? He's kind of the storyteller, the seer, you know. What is the Soverian stone? A magnificent crystal bent into an arch by a mighty hand of an ancient divine creator. Our great gate to the other worlds. It breathes power. It dreams of eternity. Why are you angry at your fellow elves? I spent many hundreds of years in Kainan. I have always admired the way my kinfolk care for the forest. That was our home. But the rest of the world seemed to mean nothing to them. But I love Galerium. All its places, all the forms it manifests in. I traveled widely and then came home and told my kinfolk about my travels. But they weren't interested. They only cared about Kainan. The lack of desire to hear about the wider world makes me sad and angry. What happened next? Earthfall happened at night. I'm standing at the top of my tower many miles to the north of Kainan, and I see a blaze far in the south. I hear a horrendous rumble. The air is groaning, giving way to a huge rock rushing down on my world. And then, a blow. Vibration that penetrates everything, reaching down into the bowels of Galarian and up into the vaults of the sky. Crunching bones, blood from burst vessels, filling my eyes with darkness, drowning in timelessness, along with countless Denzians of Galarian. Never before have we been so united in our feelings. Wow. <clears throat> story how the storyteller became blind. Was it a bit foolish? I mean, he couldn't even do anything to it. When I came around, the darkness remains. My first terrible thought, I'm blind. But no, little by little, I began to begin to see the stone wall. I am alive. But why is it so dark? The answer is quick. The smell of ash everywhere. The great burnt sacrifice filled with the air, filled the air with incinerated particles of what was recently the continent of Aslant. Great clouds of ash covered the sky, cutting us from the sun and the moon, dooming us to dusk at day and complete darkness at night. My heart sinks with fear Treacherous thoughts fill my mind. Why did I stay? Why didn't I run? Why didn't I run like everyone else when I had the chance? 
I clenched my teeth and stand up to watch Earth fall. Proudly, like the last archmage of Kynon Kion and should. Will my world really perish like this? Will I perish? No, that will never happen. I am still alive and I can fight Earthfall and the darkness. Not from it in a blind panic like my kinfolk and my cowardly teacher. But what can I do? I will not stop the disaster. I will hardly be able to save empires from their destruction. What can I do? I am but one archmage, powerful and weak at the some, same time. What is Earthfall? A disaster of untold proportions. An unborn planet dropped on Galarian by blind fate or someone's evil will. A blow of strong, so strong that the continent of Aslant is destroyed within moments, turned to ashes, wiped off the face of Galarian. In this burnt sacrifice, clouds of ash du and dust are born, stealing our sun. Without the warmth of our star, the air cools, the soil is barren, dark creatures crawl out of their lairs to rule, and the most frightening thing, without the sun, all hope dies in the heart. This is the age of darkness. What was that tower you mentioned? It's my retreat to the north of Kionan. My home, away from home, my observatory. From its top I watch the stars, and when they were correctly aligned, the worlds as well. Man, my back is killing me. <clears throat> the other worlds as well. Here in the northern wastelands, I found the highest mountain and built a tower on top of it. On clear days, I could see the mist over the lake of mists and veils in the east. That's how high I was. That's pretty darn high. <coughs> Big Trevor! All right, hydrate. There you go. All right. <laughs> well, what are you doing, going to do next? Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Hydrate, 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 hydrate. I do all the hydration. Lots of hydration. Trust me. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I need to think. My opponent, Earthfall, is much stronger than me. Without noticing, the storyteller raises his voice to a shout. It is merciless. It does not simply destroy life. It kills an era, ending the greatness of Galarian civilizations. They will sink into oblivion, be forgotten as if they never existed. I need to think. The elf suddenly winces in, and, is, and is silent for a few moments as he calms his heavy breathing. Forgive me, I shouldn't have raised my voice. This story was much harder than many before it, most likely because I played the main role in it. It is so strange to see myself Feel the emotions tearing me up inside. Those that I felt a long time ago. And not remember them. It's like I split. I became both the storyteller and the main character. Too bad the story ended at that moment. Please, if you find other pages covered with ancient elven writings on your travels, bring them to me. I may be able to shed some light on my past and we will find out how my story ended and perhaps even why I forget it. Thank you for your stories. Um, have you decided to join the crusade? I have decided not to, I'm afraid. My path and the path of the crusade lead in the same direction, but 
Alas, they are not yet one and the same. After the demons were driven away from Kinebras, the path into the world wound became open. If only temporary, I am planning on using this opportunity to visit. The elf falls silent. It doesn't matter now. I'd hate to bore you with the details of my venture, which may prove useless even for myself. However, I will. I'll try to return to the Crusaders and aid them in their confrontation with the demons after I'm done. I hope to meet you again in this world rather than the next. Uh, tell me about Earthfall. They are leaving. The people can face... Yeah, yeah, but my will is strong. Yep, I already read that. Why did it act like I didn't? Um, mentor. Okay. Now I've got to go through this all again. Okay. What are you going to do next? Thank you for your stories. I wanted to see if he could fix that belt. I probably don't even have the belt with me. The buckle or whatever. The gold buckle. I have the gold buckle. It's the gold buckle. Okay. Let's see. I'll go ahead. I already did the Eagle Watch, right? Okay. Who's this? Half plate. Ten armor class. Uh, I think she's got some new armor. No offense, but... Okay. Bring you the sausage maker. Okay. Okay. Scroll glitter dust. No, no. <laughs> of course, she wants to meet Discari. Of course. Baphomet. I don't think I'm supposed to be in here yet. Let me see. Well, that was unfruitful. I'm telling you, very not fruitful. All right. Okay. I'm assuming I need to go over here now. These are the highest Knights of the Kinnebras. How you doing, Knights of the Kinnebras? How you doing? What do we have back here? Oh, oh, yep, okay, we need that. Mm-hmm. Nope, 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 okay. Let's see who lives here. This place has been sacked to make protect the area around it from the corruption of the abyss. Nice. More Kinnebras Crusaders. Yeah, there's some nice weapons for you guys. Crutes. Well, there you go. You can watch Crusaders. Okay. Something near something. Okay. Make it to Dresden. Talk to the army quartermaster. Okay, I got one more thing to do. Talk to the army quartermaster. Okay. Seems like that's about the last place I haven't been. It's over here. Let's see.
This man's face looks like it's been forged from copper. His deep wrinkles darkened with a soot of a hundreds of battles and thousands of campfires. His bald head is covered with a dozen scars and the gray bristly beard on his chin is the color of ash. He sizes you up and lazily you up lazily and creaks like a dry rusted hinge. Well, Sir Garms, at your service. What do you want? Show me what you have. Okay, well, that's... Okay, there's got to be someone who's dealing with... Who's the person that would be doing the... Can I see... Orgus Squirm, what are you doing, Orgus? Spetching and kind of man. Okay. I'll just... Uh, good day. Do you remember me? I'm General. Who spoke in the Divinity Star? So you're the commander of the Crusade now. Aristotle knows it's hard to imagine someone worthier to take up the post than the savior of Kinebras. May the gods help you. Who are you? A humble priest of Aristotle. Uh, I completed my trials and took my holy orders only recently, and now I am serving my God and the people to the best of my ability. What were you doing in Defender's Heart? What I was bound to do under my holy orders. I healed the wounded and buoyed up the healthy to fi fight another day. Have you joined the crusade? Don't take it amiss, but no, I haven't. I have my own task. I am needed in Chili Creek, a tiny hamlet which due to some oversight, has been left without a priest these many years. I'm about to set sail for there. I'll be making my journey uh, along Old Man Sullen. I have to go. Mira still watch over you. Okay, there's got to be someone who sells, like, scrolls and stuff. Silver buckle. I got a silver. My artifact. I think somehow I may have lost my artifact, and I don't know how I did that. It would be just like me to do that, though. Darian, how you doing, Darian? Yep, that's what I thought. Okay. What are we looking for? I'm looking for someone who does can sell me magic stuff. Who is the magic seller in here? <laughs> yeah, yep. That's interesting. Let's see that. Oh. It's taking loudly, laughing joyfully, and passing around a flask. So pictures this. My sword in the in is by the fire. There are two goblins about to snatch it, and three more are digging through my tent and I'm sat in the bushes wearing just my male shirt wondering what the blast to do an old mercenary taught me about the male shirt you can't sleep in armor but it's not so bad in mail once you get used to it too bad no one told me uh, not to go into the bushes without my sword so what did you do what did I do I bark like crazy. Goblins are afraid of dogs, you know. So they all went wild and started running around. I spot my sword and they spot me. So I jump over the fire, over to the fire, wearing nothing but my male shirt. And I grab my sword and I yell in my big tough voice, Oh, inheritor, grant me the power to crush these filthy creatures. My sword's shining. The goblins are screaming. I jump to attack them and they fight back. But I fought them off somehow. But ever since then, I never take a step without my weapon. <laughs> Nothing like getting caught with your pants down, Sila. Nothing like getting caught with your pants down. All right. <clears throat> ha ha ha, that's some story. Hey, stop. Stop gulping. Leave us some. Leave some for us. Come on now. We've only just set off and you're already drinking? Oh, I was talking like Arabeth. 
and and with the queen in the camp. Stop this at once. The knights quickly snap to attention. Sila raises the flask and says loudly, Right you are, Commander Terabade. We are but drinking to the queen's health. Um, yeah, I'm going to be chaotic. I'm going to take a drink because that's just me. Give me a sip too to her highness's health. I'm not very lawful. That's just not my style. It's not my style to be lawful. I mean, would you guys be more lawful? Uh, chaotic? Evil? I don't know. I just, I'm just not very lawful. Neutral to chaotic, mostly. Irpeth rubs her forehead with the palm of her hand. Commander, are you sure this is the right way to train your soldiers? Never mind. It's your business. Yes, it is my business. And my business is to uh, make sure they are in good spirits because they're going to go fight and die. All right. So I was looking for... Say what? I remember them. Grandma Gretlin, director. A well-dressed well old dwarf is lecturing a motley company, shaking her ladle at them belligerently. Noticing you, she flings up her hands. G good afternoon, your commander. Do you remember us? We're the crew from the next door theater company, the one you saved in Kinnebrus, back when you weren't your commanderness. As you can see, we've uh, come on the campaign with you. We signed up to clean pots and mend the soldiers' clothes. Keeping up a theater is expensive, so we all have to take side jobs. But we don't stop what we're doing. We're going to put on a play about your legendary feats. Of course, the crowd scenes are difficult. We can't find the people to play the hordes of demons, and we decided against using a ritual to summon real demons. I would hope so. Luckily, we have Master Kem. He's invented a way to solve this problem using sound. We caught a pig and some piglets and, uh, um, who ran away from the burned-out village. Uh, the glum and husky half-orc mumbles. Uh, we put the piglets in a box and scare them a little, and sound they make is just like an approaching demon horde. But, uh, the most important question is, of course, choosing the lead actor who will play the great knight commander. We had a right Barney over it, breaking a number of lances as, uh, as well as a shovel. A rolling pin and a set of black scratchers. But we just couldn't decide no matter what. Maybe you can help us. We have two candidates that are most suited for the role. One will have the honor of conveying your hero heroism upon the stage, Commander. Uh, 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 no... Um, uh, a Cyclops actor? He's completely tame, believe me. Has a few issues with uh, articulation, but what a powerful physique. We'll make him a nice costume, wash him up, uh, brush his hair. Truth be told, in our show, you mainly just make short heroic exclamations at the fateful moment, like Onward, or... We'll never give up, or my heart burns with courage. Lampkin can definitely handle the script. Uh, I'm to be played by a group of gnomes? Not a gnome, two gnomes. <laughs> two gnomes, two gnomes, two gnomes standing on top of each other. Two gnomes, Robledum and Herefint are twins. One of them sits on the other's shoulders and puts on a long coat so they can play tall characters. 
They, st <laughs> they switch places every so often so each gets their moment of fame. And that way they each only have to learn half the script. Okay, what do we do? I don't know. Um, I think we go with the Gnome Twins. Go with the Gnome Twins. Wonderful. Sorry you took away from you all your important things heroes and commanders do. We're off to rehearsal. I mean, first we'll wash some pots, then we're off to a rehearsal. Let's go, you lazy lumps. Don't embarrass old grandma now. Okay. That was fun. Really was fun. Okay. 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 I feel like I have not met everyone I should meet. I feel like I have not met everyone I should meet. What's over here? Let me just... Who are people over here? Recruit Crusader, Eagle Land, Horse Crusader. Okay, I've been over here. I feel like there should be someone who sells... Like magic stuff right I'm not the quite sure clear. sure why I'm not finding anyone like that okay well we'll do a back and forth just real quick cuz oh no that's, I don't want to talk to the Cyclops there's horses horses Crusader, Darien, Wolgif, General Wolgif, Orgus, so nobody that way, okay. I would have just thought for sure there'd be someone who's selling, because there was one in the uh, the last place we were at, Storyteller, Crusader, Wizard. Tread light. Okay. Yeah. There in Ember. Taking. I feel like I'm missing something or someone because I would have could have sworn there should have been someone I could have talked to about magic items. I could have sworn it. Should be somewhere, somewhere, right? Let us be careful. Right. Yes, land, Darian, Amber, me, Nia. Somewhat uh, perplexed. Huh. Oh well, let's go to the main tent. Where's the main tent again? Right there. Let's go talk to the queen, I guess. Air bath. 
Why are there nobody? Nobody that has magic in my encampment. Why are there no magic people in my encampment? To the queen. The queen greets you with a stare. She has dropped the pompous air with which she just announced the fifth crusade. Ow. The face of the ruler of Mendev appears calm and thoughtful. She has made her move and now awaits her opponent's reply. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Can no. Continue. Commander. She gets quickly to the point. I am happy with the troop review, and I expect they will be sufficient for the task I have chosen. Uh, a target for your campaign. And the target is Dresden, our lost outpost within the wor world wound. The Sword of Valor has stored the Sword of Valor was stored there, and it is a banner that was once held by Aomade herself. Our great relic was lost when the city fell. I should make this clear from the start. The Sword of Valor is no mere symbol, but a powerful weapon against demons. The holiness of the banner weakens them and robs them of one of their most dangerous abilities, teleportation. A forced march to Dresden awaits you. The war Sword of Valor is still kept somewhere within the citadel. The demons probably think it's a hunting trophy. Its recovery is just as important as retaking the city itself. Hope the task is clear. I am sending two specialists to help you along with the soldiers. A historian, Nora, Nora Dindawar, and a cleric, Social Vanek. The queen nods to the human man and the young halfling woman standing, standing next to her. One of the famous inquisitors of the Church of Iomade also wants to talk to you. The Honorable Leotar, whom everyone calls Hawkblade. I do not wish to keep you, Commander. The matter I must discuss with you is extremely important, but it is not directly related to the Crusade. You no doubt wish to meet your new comrades and speak with Her Highness. Therefore, I shall leave you now. But I ask that you seek me out in the camp at your earliest convenience. Nura. Hi. Listen, it's amazing here. It's like I have, like I'm in a ballad. There's knights in shining armor, deadly dangers, glorious feats. We're going to show those demons. I'm so tired of sitting in a library reading books about history. It's time to, I took part in it. Let me guess, you're a bard. You a bard? Are you a bard? Oh my God, you're a bard, aren't you? I'm glad to help our cause, Commander. If you have some time later, I'd like to speak with you further. You have plenty of time to talk. You're the Knight Commander's people now, his trusted advisors and companions. Now then, will you please leave us, Irabeth? You can, you, leave us. Irabeth, you can go too. When we met at the Defender's Heart, I never imagined you'd make me the commander of the crusade. The queen allows herself a smile. Some actions may be deemed bold or even extreme, and beyond those there are some you might call the queen's last resort. I am not a simple monarch. I am at war with the abyss, a war which has lasted over a hundred years. I cannot allow myself the luxury of caution. In you I see a chance, and I am willing to stake everything on it. Uh, however, you cannot blame me for putting you in charge of the crusade. I only formalized what had already happened in the hearts and minds of many. People spoke of the power and that descended upon you and helped you save the ward stones from corruption and total destruction. Waters of his feet quickly spread far beyond the borders of Mindev. 
there was no other person who could better fit the role of Knight Commander of the Fifth Crusade. Uh, I have some questions about uh, my mission to retake Dresden. Of course, I shall answer. How did the uh, demons manage to conquer Dresden? Holy crap. Okay, I'm get, just getting tired now. That's a good question. Its walls, its walls were built by dwarf craftsmen, and the power of the Sword of Valor protected the city. Alas, were raging hordes failed, a single lying tongue was all they needed to succeed. The demoness Minago convinced a young and ambitious crusader named Staunton Vaughn that the banner belonged on the banner f battlefield. He went on a daring and unapproved raid, and the banner ended up in the enemy hands. The city fell soon after. Ever since then, for seven decades, it has served as a citadel for the forces of the abyss. Ah, uh, Staunton Van, I saw him in the Great Garrison. He defected to the demon side. Oh, really? I wasn't informed of this. Galfrey frowned. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's one bad dwarf. After Dresden fell because of Staunton, he was nearly sentenced to death. He deserved it. In wartime, men were hanged for far less. But you have no idea what a terrible sight it is, a raging crowd of crusaders baying for blood. Never have my fighters looked so much like the demons we are fighting. I commuted Staunton's sentence and stripped him of his rank, not just for him, but for my army and my country. We are not hell knights. We do not maintain discipline with public executions. It was a tough choice, I understood. You punished him with a life of disgrace and humiliation, and that life finally broke him. It's sad, but not surprising. Womp, 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 womp. If I do it, I get in trouble. I do it. Perhaps exile would have been more merciful sentence than decades of serving service among those he who despised him. I was hoping he might atone for his guilt with a heroic act, but he likely decided that atonement was impossible, and he might as well give himself over to evil. What forces are at my disposal? Everyone we saw today at the parade, first among them the Eagle Watch, who remain a powerful force thanks to Arabeth's resourcefulness. Also marching with your several minor knightly orders, as the minor volunteer units like to be called. And finally, I have personally selected some recruits from Nerissan. They have little in the way of battle experience, but great determination and a thirst to prove themselves. I've always thought that an army benefits from at least one such unit. These forces, as I said, are enough for a march on Dresden. But for a brave commander, and I hope you are one, that is just the beginning. If you retake Dresden, recover the holy power of the Sword of Valor, and gain a foothold in the region, then new armies will join under your banner. The Fifth Crusade is only beginning. Many battles and victories lie ahead. It's been decades and no one has managed to retake the city. Why do you think we are different? We have a chance now that we haven't seen in decades. But it's more than that. You created this chance for us by foiling the demon's plans in Kinebras. The army who attacked the city came straight from Dresden. Demon hordes from the abyss are usually encamped there, but many of them perished on the streets of Kinebras. We must attack swiftly before they can restore their forces. When the city is free and the Sword of Valor appears before our soldiers, they won't be sending in any more reinforcements. Demons cannot teleport into an area protected by the banner of the good goddess. What about long-term goals? Do you know how to get rid of the world wound forever? 
Now you are talking like a real knight commander. The queen nods in approval, then frowns. However, answering your question is not easy. To win this war, we must bar the demon's way. There are a few planar rifts leading to the abyss across the territory we call the world wound. The best specialists we could find have tried to close them on separate occasions with no success, as you may have guessed. The world wound is more than just a chain of portals to the abyss. We do not understand its nature yet. The methods of rift closure known to magical science simply do not work here. However, we have a hypothesis, and a rather well-grounded one, that we must begin at the source of the problem, the place where the world wound was open. The main rift lies through the city of Iz and the Threshold Fortress. Deep in the former lands of Sarkoris, we have never managed to fight our way so far and gain a foothold to allow the mages to explore. The origins of the world wound. So the next step after you succeed in Dresden is an offensive push deeper into the world wound with the aim of reaching a threshold, the very threshold of the abyss. I can talk. Okay. I have no more questions on that. Did you know that the souls of angels from heaven are confined in the wardstone? A furrow, can, a, furrow, a furrow forms in the queen's brow. I had guessed as much. Many angels fought alongside us in the first crusade. Heaven was unable to mobilize its full might to aid us, but individual celestials volunteered to fight for our cause. Then one day they all vanished, saying that they were setting off on an important mission. Not long after, Iomodes Herald erected the first ward stone in Kinnebras, and then the others in cities across Mindav. Even back then I had nagging doubts but my faith in Iomade easily assuaged them. It is for us to serve the goddess, after all, not to question her works. Nevertheless, I am pleased that you solved the mystery of the wardstone in Kinnebras and were able to save the gift of Iomade. It was a deed worthy of Knight Commander of the Fifth Crusade. The Queen subtly inclines her head. <laughs> I'm sorry, and solemn acknowledgement of your service. Um, you should know I received an unusual gift in the caves beneath Kinnebras. In a vision, I saw the death of an angel called Lariel. Somehow, he was able to grant me the ability to reveal the light of heaven. Lariel. I knew him. He disappeared shortly before the world wound grew and Dresden fell into the enemy hands. In the chaos, we had more important concerns than investigating the fate of a single angel, even one so righteous and beloved as Lariel. And afterward, matters took a turn for the worse. The angels left us to go on their special mission. A smile, kind and sad, crosses the queen's face. It is so strange to hear the names I used to hear when I was young, like getting a message from the past. It is sad, but it brings me back to the times when we strongly believed in our victory and we rushed headlong towards it without fear. Could it be that such times have come again? Uh, and what are you going to do, your queenliness? Geoffrey arches her brow. My immediate plans are to overlook a spot of insubordination. However, I shall answer you. I should pair the defense of Nirasan and all the other border cities and plan for the future of the Fifth Crusade. Does that satisfy your curiosity, Knight Commander? Uh, I, can't, I can't really do that, can I? I'm no longer allowed to do that one because I said I'm not doing the Aeon Path. 
Uh, Angel Bam, my queen, I'd like, I'd ask you to remain with us. The Dresden campaign is the hope of the crusade and the blessing of Iomede that you carry, that you carry may de be decisive in this battle. Yeah, I don't have that anymore, do I? Nope. The queen flashes something of slightly astonished smile. What is this I hear? A polite attempt to appeal to the conscience of an old sovereign? I don't know if you realize what you are suggesting. If our armies in the depths of the wound were to discover that I was with your army, they would immediately send their most vicious demons to attack. They would stop at nothing to be rid of me and thereby sow chaos across Mendev. But you are right. I shouldn't be sitting it out in the rear. I'm a warrior queen and a queen of warriors. Yet my fighters have forgotten what I look like. Fine, I shall join the crusade. But on your own terms. But on my own terms. First I shall assemble my entourage and lead the parade out of the camp. I shall catch up with you later, along with a few hand-picked bodyguards. We'll change our army and I'll become a knight of a minor order and join the troops incognito. Am I going to be able to... Is Queen Galfrig going to be in my party? No, really? Really? Can... Oh, that would be cool. I'd like Queenie to be... I'd like Queenie to be with me. Queenie be with me. That'd be kind of cool. Until we approach Dresden, no one should know I am among you. But before we storm the city, I shall show myself to the troops and join the battle. Let it be a surprise for the demons. I hope you won't complain for my company on the road, Commander, since you were the one who insisted upon it. Calfrey chuckles. Do you have any other ca questions? Uh, the task is clear. Splendid. Ah, yes. The queen gives you an impish wink. We have one final matter to attend to. It should be rather enjoyable. Okay. Count, there you are. You received my instruction. Ah, oh, I did, though... I did not have time to read the thing before I was dragged before you, your highness. In truth, I was readying myself to depart. No matter. I trust I trust you will forgive your sovereign for the rather brusque summons. Especially when you learn what prompted it. The queen makes a stately gesture in your direction. As you are aware, well, hails, yeah has recently been appointed my Knight Commander of the Fifth Crusade. I spent a long while pondering who to, perform, who to appoint to the highly sensitive post of Commander, Commander's Field Attaché and Advisor Plenipotentiary without portfolio. Congratulations, Count. Darian's cool expression wavers but he seems not to be fully cognizant of, of what is happening. That or he's holding himself tightly in check. It is a great honor, I suppose. Uh, that's a great idea. I knew you would approve, Commander. The Queen bestows a smile on you, then brings her gaze to rest on Darien once more. I had my doubts about whether you were ready for such a responsibility. But your conduct in Kinnebras has put my mind at ease, so you will travel with the troops to Dresden. Only the commander may remove you from your post, but I trust that you will dutifully fulfill his orders and make a good showing of yourself. Especially since word of your appointment, Count, will reach the court at any moment. All of Mindev's nobility will be following your successes in service to the, na the 
to the nation, including all your devoted admirers. I even heard that one bard with whom you are particularly friendly has already begun composing a ballad to honor your heroic participation in the crusade and your faithful service to the commander here. The Count offers a bow, either as a sign of respect or in order to hide his flushed face. Only the barest qua 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 quaver can be heard in his voice. Shouldn't that be quiver? Not quaver? Quiver? I don't know. Your law, your law, the Your legacy truly knows no bounds, dear cousin. I am most most gratified by the honor you have shown me. Then let's get going. May Iomade help us. Okay. I am going to save and save and save. And that's going to be it. I have got nothing else Ugh. left in me tonight. I am just downright 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 wasted so let's see I don't even wonder if there's anybody I won't, can even raid that I want to raid that I could raid uh, let's see no all right that's going to be it from tonight thank you for watching everyone always remember be good to one another and peace love and all that jazz